Yo, what is good, you guys? And welcome to one of my favorite games called Terraria. And the thing with Terraria is like... It's different. People think of it as like 2D Minecraft. I honestly disagree with that. Way better. I even like Minecraft. People are going crazy about Minecraft coming back and stuff like that. I don't even like it. But, uh, I'm playing on weird settings, you know, the normal. I'm playing on, I think, my brother's settings. So, the aim of the game is to defeat the Moon Lord. So first, you gotta defeat, um, defeat the Wall of Flesh, which is in the Underworld. Then you have to defeat a bunch of hard mode, uh, hard mode bosses. And basically, before you defeat the full Wall of Flesh, you're not in hard mode. In hard mode, like, all the NPCs' weapons get better, but... All the loot gets better, but everything gets ten times harder. So, I'm gonna get a bunch of wood. I'm gonna find a super large tree. chop down these two trees and then I'm gonna hollow it out for me to be able to survive it you see that damage that's already been done that's been done by him shooting arrows so I just want to find a nice little uh, or actually rather large tree there's always a hill like this, for some reason. That goes into desert. The large trees spawn in uh, grasslands. And usually the standard grassland that you spawn in is where most of them spawn. I've had like three in a world at a time. Two on the standard grassland and one elsewhere. Before I go and get the tree though, I'm gonna mine some stone. Cause then I could make a stone brick house. As long as I get a furnace. Furnace probably takes 20 stone of wood and a couple torches. Torches are made from wood and gel. Gel comes from the slimes. And the slimes are actually very valuable. Which is why I want to find stone or er, slime statues to make a slime farm. Now I need to get out of here. I'm also playing on PlayStation, so this is way different. Like the controls and the settings and everything are way different than PC or mobile. And since I'm playing on my brother's settings, they're way different than any other thing. I think that's the granite biome, right under there. You guys see that purple glow down there? Pretty sure that's the granite biome. I'm getting off track, but I'm gonna go check it out. Yep, that's the granite biome. Or no, no, that's not. Yeah, it's not. That's the demon altars. They'll look like that. We're just gonna continue going on a journey to find a good old tree so I can make myself a tree house. Alright. 
part now by just avoid dying, which honestly is pretty hard. Being that the corruption's right there, and there's a big drop over here, and I'm lagging. Oh, that was terrible. Uh, um, I'm gonna mine down right here. This might work. Oh, if you're questioning the ugly character, I just randomized to get this. This is not what I chose. Alright, we're on a level where I don't think I would take fall damage at all. But the Eaters of Souls, those are corruption, uh, corruption monsters. Uh, this is lead, that's why I came down here. Lead you can use to make an anvil to make swords, or you can just plain make iron, or armor and swords. There's gold over here that I see. And I think I see some copper. Gold or as I can. Uh, I think there's one more gold ore block. Yep, I think that's all the gold ore. And if I seem like be, to be using weird movements, that's because I'm not used to these settings. Again, I'm playing on my brother's settings. I'm also playing on a very small world. You can choose between small, medium, and large. I chose small. Oh, wait, copper's not actually very valuable. Like, if you make copper weapons, wood weapons are better than it. Oh, I don't think you can jump while getting hit. Jump into my sword, you won't. That's what I thought. Gone now. Um, these settings are very weird. Yeah, it's hard to jump and build and aim down at the same time because it's all on one side. Oh, the blue sign has uh, coins in it. I'm pretty sure the pickaxe actually does more damage than the copper sword. Because, you know, copper swords, or short swords are terrible. You know what? I'm just going to create a house underground after I complete this. Go away. My mom said never to mess with strangers. You're a stranger. Stranger danger. Killed me. My first death. Soon there's gonna be a whole graveyard full of my tombstones. All right, give me my copper back. And now, I'm gonna start my house. I think I'm gonna start right here. One component I think I need is rope. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need some rope, but I do not have any rope right now. So that's gonna be a pain to do. Actually, I can make platforms. Platforming is basically the way to get out places if you don't have chain or rope. Or rope vine, or vine rope. I don't know why I said rope vine. Get it! Yes! One more! Alright, I got it. I need to check out my brother's settings. Uh oh. Of 
course I'm getting attacked. You need to protect, okay? What is lock on? No, I'm gonna bind it. No, jump is bound to X. So this one is going to be bound to Z pad arrow. Right now. Oh, that's what lock on is. That's the wrong one. Come on, quick before the zombie gets to me. Reset it to default because my brother doesn't really yeah. use it. Yeah. Yep, everything is normal now. Yep, and I'm dead now. Oh my god, told you it's gonna be a whole graveyard. But he's gonna kill my guy. Alright, trust me when I say this. I went through hell and back to get you. Like, so many deaths, so much pain, and um, probably the worst house ever. As you can see, if you look on the top left, uh, my bow has eight, uh, 1,830 uh, arrows. Yes, you are not mistaken. I spent all my stone on arrows for that, and I just got a new guy, Jack, and he's taking the home. Wait, that's the information I gathered from that achievement I just got called Home Sweet Home. And my latest death, if you look on the way up, was literally right in here. Hey Jack. I have a question. Alright, thank you. Yeah, I need to check how much silver do I have? I'm pretty poor. I only have 20. I need 50 to get the uh, merchant, but then I also need a housing space, so, you know, that'll probably be next episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I know this is probably a short episode for you, but not for me. I'm going to make a wooden sword just to get a better weapon. Like, I've been using the hammer because it's better than that copper sword. Ow. I can actually fight. See, seven damage. Wait, can we just compare damage? Yeah, you guys are seeing that, right? Alright, now, let's take this out. And this is, and I have a shameful, uh, if you see, I have a shameful wound sword. If I, like, a legendary wooden sword or something like that, it would be like doing 12 damage. That's actually pretty good for like beginning game. But on that note, I'm gonna end off this video. I know it was a short video, not for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will turn this into a series on my channel. Next episode will be coming next week on a Friday. Hope you guys enjoyed. Signing off.